Sitting in the Simon is written by Alan Morgan and Brendan Clark. One cold winter day, Sadie made a snowman in her backyard. First she made a snowball, and then she made two more. Then she rolled them and rolled them until they were done. She used cookies for the eyes, an apple for the nose, and a great big banana for the smile. He was a really good snowman, and he lasted for a long time. The birds ate the cookies, the squirrel ate the apple, and a large raccoon sold the banana. The sun came out and the snowman began to melt. After a while he didn't look like a After a while he didn't look much like a snowman at all. Sadie was sad. She missed the snowman. So the next time it snowed, she met the snowman all over again. There was so bit of the snowman left, so she made it into a snowball. Then she made two more, and she rolled them and rolled them until they were done. She used crackers for the eyes, a carrot for the nose, and a nice fat zucchini for the smile. He was a really good snowman, and he lasted for a long time. But the birds ate the crackers, the squirrel ate the carrot, and the large raccoon sold the zucchini. The sun came out and the snowman began to melt. After a while he didn't look like much a snowman at all. After a while he didn't look much like a snowman at all. This time Sadie wasn't sad. She knew it was snow again. All that winter Sadie made the snowman over and over again. The birds ate the eyes, the squirrel ate the noses, and a large raccoon stole all the smiles. The sun kept coming out and the snowman kept melting, but there was always enough of the snowman left to saw it all over again. When the weather turned warmer, the sun came out earlier and it stayed out longer. Sadie worried about the snowman. She found an old blanket and made him a tent so he could hide from the sun. But the wind began to blow and it blew and blew until finally one day the tent flew away. Spring was coming, and the snow on the ground was melting so fast that the grass grew through. The snowman was melting, too. Sadie took him apart and moved him under the porch where the sun couldn't see him. But even so, he kept getting tall. He kept getting smaller. After a while, he didn't look much like a snowman at all. The weather turned colder just in time. It snowed a little during the night, and in the morning, Sadie made the snowman again. There was still a bit of the snowman left, so she made it into a snowball. Then she made two more, and she rolled them and rolled them until they were done. She used raisins for the eyes, a peanut for the nose, and a twist of red licorice for the smell. When the snowman was finished, Sadie put him into a bowl and moved him back under the porch. He was a really good snowman, but Sadie wasn't sure how long he would last this time. Sadie smiled. She knew just what to do. She poured all the water out of the bowl and into a plastic bag. She put the plastic bag into her freezer. And for all that summer and all that fall, Sadie didn't miss the snowman at all. She knew she would see him again. So when winter came and it snowed again, Sadie took the plastic bag from her freezer and went outside. First she made a snowball all around the ice she saved. Then she made two more and she rolled them and rolled them until they were done. She used cookies for the eyes, an apple for the nose, and a great big banana for the smile.
He was a really good snowman and he lasted for a long time.